I would describe Bob Coughlin as powerful. I would describe Bob Coughlin as passionate, and I would describe him as extremely caring and sensitive. Everything he does is filled with fashion. I can do it in one word, I suppose. That word would be relentless. One of my dad's greatest strengths is his perseverance. Whatever he does, he always does it with his whole heart. You know when he's in the room. His spirit is contagious. He is indefatigable. He is always going. He generates his own caffeine. Whether it's for his family, friends, for his mission for life, Bob is just all about passion. Bob advocates for patients in everything that he does. He's just got a great intuition. He could think a step or two ahead of where we need to be and, and what's going to be happening. The cause that he works on behalf is a transcendent cause and it needs champions like him to stick with it. Without him, it doesn't work and we don't succeed. And we're back where we were 25 years ago. He is part salesman, part statesman, uh, part politician, part policy maker, part dreamer, and part doer. So he advocates for patients like they're my own brother and like their family because he knows what it's like to have somebody in the family that's chronically ill and that he loves. He had a passion for CF before his son was born. Now it's you know, obviously enhanced even more, which is hardly possible. It's about helping patients, uh, and, and that's the perspective he brings with his beautiful son Bobby and, and the whole, his commitment to CF and a solution. The reason I'm dressed like this today, ladies and gentlemen, because I, I got up early this morning and I ran the route twice, okay? <laughs> I see his greatest strength as a connector of people. He loves a challenge, he takes it head on, and that's what he's inspired the team to do. Well, the Life Sciences Initiative, which is a signature initiative for our administration, and I think a, a, a defining part of the Commonwealth, was a team effort. Bob was central to that and continues to be, and I thank him for that. What makes Bob unique is his ability through his kind of hard on his sleeve leadership style to bring people together around the common cause, this sort of real, focus them on the goal, which is this is all about making patients' lives better. Thank you, Bob, for being a leader for all of us at MassBio, for inspiring us each and every day, and personally, for being a mentor for me in my professional career. Keep up the good work for all of the folks in Massachusetts. Bob, thank you for being such an effective and tireless leader. Thank you, Bob. This doesn't happen without you. Thank you, Bob, for always putting patients first. Thank you, Bob, for your passion, your leadership, and ultimately, for making an enormous difference in the lives of patients. Thank you, Dad, for doing everything you do. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I love you so much. He's not gonna see this, right? Because I don't want this going to his head. <laughs>